Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today from Proverbs chapter 18, verse 2. A fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. This is another occasion, as I mentioned last time, where the King James Version, faithful as can be to the received text, which is the important thing, has, however, changed meaning in the last 400 and some years. This, the word here in verse 2, a fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. What does the word discover mean to you? Understand something, right? Find something out. Columbus discovered America. It means that you find something out. You understand something. And what the old King James Version says here is, a fool has no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself, that he may understand himself. That's what I bet you, you think this means. Because that's the natural way we understand the word discover today. This is why it is so important, if you don't understand the changes in language, this is why it is so important to also have on hand, and I will suggest use one of the slight updates to the King James Version. Here's the King James Version, 2000. It's not the new King James, it's the King James Version, 2000. Look at what it says. Very faithful to the received text. A fool has no delight in understanding. Okay, we understood that from the old King James. A fool has no delight in understanding, but that his heart may express itself. God didn't say that his, all, he, all he cares about is discovering himself. What he was saying, what God meant to say, and what he did say was a fool only wants to express himself. Do you see how the word discover has changed meaning? And when you just read the old King James and you take that at face value, you are not getting the clear, accurate word of God, what he said. A fool only cares about expressing themselves. Do you ever meet somebody who does not listen, but instead they just talk? That's a fool. They've, they've, they, they have never listened enough to learn anything because they are always talking and they're always airing their own ignorant opinions. And God says that kind of person is a fool. That's what he's talking about here. Not somebody who's trying to discover what's inside of them. A fool is someone who does not enjoy learning. They are not the least bit interested in learning and they are not the least bit interested in spiritual growth, obviously. They want to express their opinions. And no one can teach them anything. Because, after all, they know it all. That's what God is saying. That's what the received text teaches. That's what God inspired the men uh, who wrote the Bible to write. We need the pure word of God. We need the accurate Word of God. We need to study a translation. The King James, if you understand the word changes, that's great because it's faithful to the received text or one of the slight updates. And I will remind you again that there is the King James 21st century, just a very slight update of words like we looked at today. The third millennial Bible, another slight update of the King James Version and also the King James 2000. These are slight updates, very slight updates that just change the words that have changed meanings. We need to be faithful to the Word of God. And if you want the Word of God to bless you, you need to understand what it is saying. Okay, until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break. So long, everyone.